ProWatt 2.5 Cloudwatt to 5.5 Cloudwatt, MTLS series or dual MPPT, single phase grid tight solar inverters. These models are ProWatt's new string inverter products that integrated the recent leading edge technologies in solar inverter industry. In this video, we will have a brief introduction of inverter installation, commissioning, and a basic troubleshooting. Tools we need to prepare. Electric driller, hammer, pliers, cross screwdriver, flat screwdriver, multimeter, etc. Unpack the packing, take out accessories and inverter, screw bag, AC connector, user manual, mounting bracket. Follow the location requirement on the manual to install inverter in proper place. It is suggested to install inverter under a shoulder. Avoiding direct sunlight and rain, install inverter in an airtight cabinet is prohibited. Follow the instruction on the manual to install inverter in a stable location, for example, on wall. Do not forget to screw the safety screws firmly. Please choose eligible cable for wiring. On the user manual, there is a table of cable requirement. It had listed specification of cables required. For PV connector assembly, please refer to SP2000 installation video. Check the PV array polarity with a body meter. Then connect the PV array terminal to inverter PV input terminal. The AC connection has three wires, live wire, neutral, and a protection earth. Put the wires to come through waterproof cover. Waterproof head. Then use small socket head screwdriver, screw wires to the correct socket respectively. Insert AC connector to inverter AC socket, then spin waterproof ring tightly. When DC switch being disconnected or in weak sunlight condition, inverter is in shutdown mode. Turn on PV switch. After inverter powered on, switch on the AC switch. When the PV input voltage is greater than 70 volt but less than 100 volt, inverter would in waiting mode. When the PV input voltage is greater than 100 volt, inverter would be counting down and then producing power to grid. When inverter detected a grid or inner fault, it would show a narrow message or error code on its LCD screen. MTLS series inverter has country select function. The country selection is via the DIP switches. In inverter packaging, there is an additional table listing for MTLS DIP switch settings. Please follow the table to complete selection. To avoid random parameter changing, MTLS series inverter added code verification process. Firstly, single knock to switch screen item to setting, then quick double knock to enter code verify interface. Quick double knock again to twinkle number, then single knock to change number. Quick double knock to shift the cursor, set code to 1 to 3 accordingly. Finally, thrice knock to confirm, then we can see the parameter change interface. 2.5K to 5.5K MTLS series inverter integrated a clock for time displaying. It is suggested to set inverter date and time correctly. E today may be cleared and accumulated from zero again in the daytime if inverter time is incorrect. Single knock to switch to set time, then double knock to enter date and time settings. Quick double knock again to twinkle numbers 
then single knock to change number, quick double knock to shift the cursor, input correct time accordingly. Finally, thrice knock to save. Note, the date format is year, month, day. MTLS series inverter also integrated power factor adjustment and reactive power control function. The value can preset in factory as request or adjusted by ShineBuzz software after installation. Remote adjustment via Shine server web page is also an option if there is GrowWatt Wi-Fi module monitoring. On the inverter bottom, there is a RS-232 socket. When RS-232 is in serial port communicating mode, the DIP switch 1 must set to OFF. When RS-232 is connecting with external monitoring device, the DIP switch 1 must set to ON in order to power on the external device. For example, external Wi-Fi module, RF module. We suggest you monitor inverter via GrowWatt Wi-Fi module. It allows customers to check the producing data on mobile, panel computer, or laptop, wherever have internet access. Moreover, the monitoring can also upgrade inverter firmware and adjust the parameters remotely. Inverter will show an error message or error code on its LCD screen if there is a fault occurs. Please refer to use manual for complete fault list and description. There's also a detailed troubleshooting guide available on Growat website. In order to manage the grid stability, the grid company regulated a permitted grid connect voltage range. If the local grid voltage is beyond that range, the inverter must stop working. Usually, that is not inverter problem. Please contact your installer to check AC voltage on inverter terminal or contact Growa service representative for further inquiry.